Hi everybody, it's Faith from Ferris and Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Gemini, it's finally your turn. And I'm going to try to knock this reading out before the coffee wears off. So, this reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards, if you choose to do anything at all, is your journey, not mine. I'll just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. If you would like something that might resonate a little bit better, check your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can maybe vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, and cross watchers are always welcome here at the table for Fire Sign Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by, just in case I forget to say it later. Without further ado, Gemini, we're getting your cards on the table, or we're calling it a cycle. Okay. I know what you're saying. I'm forcing energies. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to get this done so I can go to bed. <laughs> it's tomorrow night when I get home. I got some personals I got to do. So. Okay. Why are you here, Gemini? Ten of Wands in the reverse. You have something you want to get off your chest? You have a burden weighing you down that you can't seem to just lift and let go of? There's a cycle here that has not ended. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Five of cups in the reverse. You're trying to see the blessing here. You're not concentrating so much on the spilt cups like you were before. Okay. Maybe you're starting to let go and release the sadness that they made you feel. Okay, what do you think of them? Or you feel like they're finally releasing some sadness, possibly. Oh. Three of Cups reversed. You could perhaps have a hard time trying to be friends with this person. Or you think maybe they're starting to come out of a third party situation. I don't have a second three yet. So just hold that under your hat. It came into my head. So we'll see what comes out in the cards. What do you want from them? Death in the reverse. You don't want things to change. Whatever feelings you have for them, you don't want them to die. Whatever feelings that you think they may have for you, you don't want them to die. You don't want it to evolve. So you just want it to stay there. Eventually, this cycle has to come to a close. How do they feel about you? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Things in the connection from their perspective are possibly a little uneven. Maybe they see you as an imbalanced person. I don't know. Maybe they feel like the give and take isn't equal. What do they think of you? Seven of Cups. Maybe they feel like you have other options. Maybe they think you have other options. Maybe you're exercising your other options in their eyes. I don't know. What do they want from you? They want positive energy flow, temperance, and they want patience. They want you to be patient. Okay. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I also have Scorpio on the board. Uh, I got mostly water. So it could be a water sign you're dealing with. What is the obstacle in this connection? The Queen of Pentacles. She is a very strong and independent woman. She don't need anybody else's pentacles. I think maybe we're dealing with two very independent people here. Could potentially be. What needs to be done? Eight of Cups. Oh my. Let's get some clarity because that's the that's the walking away card. Hmm. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Gemini friends for the month of July 2020, please? Clarity for Gemini, July 2020, to bring Gemini to their highest good. And I 
drop a butt ton of cards. Really? Oh, pardon me. I hate this. I am such a clutch sometimes, I swear. Probably a good thing I decided to wear jeans and not a nightgown. Just saying. This is why I read cards clothed. Okay. Anyway. Try that one more time. I don't edit my videos. You guys know that. You get me raw and crazy and... Whatever comes out, comes out. Why is the Five of Cups reversed here? Eight of Cups. They're coming out of a state of sadness. Maybe you feel like they've already moved on, Gemini. Okay, why is the th three of cups here? Can't even get the question out. <sighs> Strength in the reverse. Maybe they're coming out of a third party situation or disconnecting from loved ones and it has them drained. Okay. Why is death reversed here? Hi, two of you. Ten of Cups reversed and the Seven of Swords. What? Why Seven of Swords? Thanks. Six of Pentacles. You want to know why they weren't happy. You want to know why things weren't even. You want to know what it's going to take to make things even. One more. Three of Pentacles reversed, three of Wands reversed. There's my other threes right there. You want to know if you should wait or not. You want to know if the foundation is stable. Wow, Gemini. Perhaps you're growing a little bit impatient and you don't want to wait anymore. Why is the Six of Pentacles reversed here? Four of Swords reversed. They have some restless energy. Things aren't even, things aren't equal, or they feel like you're restless because things aren't equal. Seven of Wands, you're trying to control the situation. They feel like possibly you, you're trying to be in charge. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Thank you. Temperance. You're trying to stay balanced. One more. Hey now, one more. No, I knocked that out with my thumb. Two 
too many. As they land, the Page of Cups reverse, the Four of Pentacles reverse. <laughs> they think you're exploring other options. They think you're trying to find balance. Trying to keep things cordial, trying to keep the energy flow positive. They might they might think your your feelings are a little bit closed off. One more. Why the Four of Pentacles reversed? Five of Wands. It might get a little bit confrontational. Like you're trying to close your feelings off, but you can't, and it gets confrontational. Why is temperance here? Lovers reversed. King of Wands reversed, Ace of Cups, Shadow Side. They need to disconnect from something else. They want you to understand and, and be patient because they're disconnecting from something else. They, they want this connection with you. They definitely feel it. They have a, 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 a cup of love that's overflowing for you. But things just need to slow down because they're still disconnecting from something very powerful. not that they don't have feelings for you. It's that you got to rein it in. They need you to be patient right now. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Too many. Page Pentacles. Slow moving energy. Really? Come on. Four of Wands. This is a connection. This is, this is an 1111. This is a soulmate connection. This could be a twin flame connection. The obstacle is the foundation and the stability. The obstacle is the how fast it's moving. Someone's very independent here, trying to be independent. Someone's definitely a catch, though. Ace of Pentacles. The obstacle is the speed at which it is moving. And patience. This is going to be a slow mover, Gemini, because someone's still very independent. Someone's just connecting from something. Someone has a burden that they haven't lifted yet. All right. Why is the Eight of Cups here for what needs to be done? Karma reversed, Emperor reversed, Nine of Wands in the upright. Someone may need to walk away, admit vulnerability, accept that a cycle needs to close before a new one can start because they haven't accepted that yet. They haven't allowed it to close. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Knight of Cups. Somebody's not, somebody may not be ready to commit. more.
King of Swords. Logical, non-emotional thought processes. I'm leaving it right there. Gemini, that's one of your cards, by the way. Your advice. King of Wands, Two of Cups. I'm sure you carry a torch for each other. This is a very powerful connection. This is a passionate connection. One more for that. Ace of Cups reversed in the Hermit. But this is a process. And you're going to end up kicking that cup over if you don't allow the process. It is a connection. It is a powerful one. It potentially is a passionate one that could go forth. But this is something that requires patience because someone has some healing they have to do here. And you have to allow that process to occur or that cup's going to kick over. You got to give it time, Gemini. You got to give it time. Knight of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed. Somebody has a cycle that they got to complete before they can sit down and commit. Somebody is not ready. You cannot rush these things. And you're literally, literally going to collapse the bridge if you try to rush it being built. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> the bridge over troubled waters needs to be built before you can cross it. Because right now you're just both standing at troubled waters. Allow the bridge to be built and be patient. Nine of pentacles, upright, ten of pentacles reversed. You have to find your independence before you can get your happy ending. Again, this pentacle energy that's going on all over this board right now, it is something that cannot be rushed. You have to take your time with it. Okay? Just rein it in a little bit, Gemini. You know, I love you guys. You know I do. One of my best friends, actually several of my very good friends are Geminis. One of my best friends is a Gemini. These things cannot be rushed. Okay? Take your time. Allow the cycles to close. Cycles have to close, and they're not necessarily yours. You gotta let the other person close their cycle before they can start a cycle with you. You cannot jump to the beginning of a chapter and into the different book before you end the one that you're on. Okay. This has been your reading for July. Let me know if it resonates. I hope it helps if it was meant to. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Okay. Thanks for coming by. I love you to bits. Catch you later.